Fortnite has been going crazy recently, handing out free V-Bucks to a lot of different players. One person even got 10,000 V-Bucks. The next few days, we are expecting the return of a skin we haven't seen in over 1,000 days here in Fortnite, and you could be receiving that for free. Because if you didn't know, here on Forever Fortnite, we like to gift a new subscriber every single day. We have some proof of that in the background right now. Also, I'd just like to say happy birthday to V-Step also. But guys, if you want the chance of receiving a gift, all you need to do is make sure you're subscribe to the channel and just drop your epic down below in the comments so I can add some of you guys to receive your gifts. But guys, this video is packed full of vital information. You really don't want to miss this. Because it's iconic. So make sure to watch until the end. If you are picking anything up from the item shop, or if you still need to pick up the season two battle pass, we have an insane item shop at the moment. It does look so, so cool. And uh, yeah, let me know what you want in this item shop and what you're potentially gonna be picking up. If you do pick up anything from this shop, it'll be mean the world to me if you could use code FFYT when doing so. Obviously you don't have to do this, but it does support me and the channel directly. Because here on the channel, we aim to bring you daily Fortnite content, of all latest news, leagues, information, free skins, free v-bucks everything you could ever want from fortnite channel you'll find that right here on the greatest of all time forever fortnite but guys that's enough of me rambling on we've got some crazy information for you guys today you're going to want to stay tuned all the way until the end because this information is absolutely vital and you're going to be able to make your friends jealous with all the new information that you're going to be learning in today's video so starting off guys i'll be honest this one's not actually fortnite but it's very related to fortnite rocket league has recently had some shop tab updates x-men bundle for april 23rd to may the 3rd best car bundle may the 3rd to may the 21st and bugatti may the 20th 23rd to May the 30th. Now, due to Rocket League collaborations coming to Fortnite recently, and us knowing we are getting an Avatar The Last Airbender collab in both Fortnite and Rocket League, there's a chance these collabs are coming to Fortnite as well. Collabed leak dates via Rocket Planet GG. Now, guys, recently we obviously got Rocket Racing. Now, a lot of stuff that is in Rocket League is coming over to Fortnite. We've had the Lamborghini, we've had the Ferrari, I think. We've got all these different vehicles. And if you are part of the Fortnite crew as well, you get a free pass over on Rocket League. And the tier one of that is a car. So go ahead and claim that because then you'll be able to use that car inside of Fortnite even if you don't play Rocket League. But let me know which one of these you are hyped for the most. Mine has to be the Bugatti. Not gonna lie, I think it's definitely gonna be pretty, pretty cool. Obviously, we've already got the Lamborghini inside the game, which I still need to pick up. I've not done it yet. You know, typical YouTuber goes and buys a Lamborghini. I can't afford that, so I'm probably just gonna buy one in Fortnite. But I would love to get the Bugatti one when it does come out. Hopefully, it is not $35 like the Lamborghini one was because that was absolutely ridiculous. So hopefully, they've got a bit better on pricing, but it's gonna be a pretty cool car when it does come out inside of the game and talking about passes and new stuff coming to the game we have this tweet here from sheena and this is the current information about the elements pass if you don't know what the elements pass is it is the event pass for fortnite times avatar instantly unlock ang after purchase price will be 1000 v bucks you'll have free and paid reward tracks so you can still unlock stuff even if you don't buy the pass skins have normal and lego variants the event will end on may the 3rd and the upper glider available towards the event end so we're going to get a lot of new stuff with this and the reason this is going to be ending on May the 3rd is because May the 4th will actually bring back Star Wars to the game. Now, if you don't know, May the 4th is known as National Star Wars Day due to May the 4th sounding like May the Force. So expect the return of Star Wars skins, maybe even a new one, we don't know. But definitely expect the return of Star Wars skins inside of Fortnite for a little bit to represent the National Star Wars Day. We also have a crazy collab at the moment, which is the night collab that is currently inside of the store. The skins look crazy, but we also have this from LEGO Fortnite. Nike is in the air with Eclipse and Ephorian Lego styles. Now, these styles do go hard, I'm not gonna lie. The guy on the left there with the purple tick just looks so, so cool, and it just looks insane in general. The shape of his head is absolutely insane. I think the actual skin for this in Battle Royale is like a blob-like character, and it does look pretty insane. And let me know if you picked up that bundle. If you do pick up that bundle, it would be grateful if you could use code FFYT when doing so. But guys, I just want to say a huge, huge thank you for all the support here on this channel recently. I really do appreciate it, and I can't thank you guys enough. Just so you guys know, I am going to be streaming soon at some point. I'm playing with some of you guys, some subscribers in Fortnite. I know a lot of you guys want that. I get a lot of invites when I'm playing. Please don't invite me. I'm trying to record gameplay a lot of times. But when I'm streaming, I will be playing with subscribers. So don't worry about that. There's a new PC on the way. My current PC probably can't handle it. But I've got a new one on the way. So that should be coming in the next coming weeks. So I hope you guys look forward to that. If you do pick up anything from the item shop and using my code FFYT, obviously you don't have to do that if you don't want to. It would mean the world to me if you could go ahead and 
tweet me or comment down below i use your code so i can say thank you to you guys directly we have over 40 people using this code now it blows my mind how many people are using it and i can't thank you guys enough but that's enough of me rambling on let's get back to the information we've got for you today with the update the other day we've had the launch of the super styles inside of fortnite so if you don't know what super styles are these are just different versions of the battle pass skins and these are them on screen for you guys right now personally i think these are a bit underwhelming i'm not gonna lie the zeus one does look pretty cool let me know your favorite down below i was hoping we'd get like a stone version of medusa there's still chance of us actually getting that if you don't know if you look at medusa's snakes on the head actually in sort of like the mythology of greek it's meant to turn people to stone this is like one of the powers she had so i'm hoping we do still get that i'm not too sure if it will come or not but hopefully it does let me know which one's your favorite down below though guys i haven't involved a tweet from this guy in a video for quite a while now but we're back to it and here's a tweet from cyan by the way cyan's tweets are insane there's some great theories fortnite lego shows the future lego game is filled with storyline easter eggs some of which even tease future storylines coming up for example teasing the return of midas imagine order is also hugely teased by it to prepare for a big return and i still believe they will come soon could it be seeing imagined order coming back to the game we've seen the return of midas and lego fortnite is like a little teaser section for battle royale they were always going to tie in together so we could be seeing the return of imagined order soon we also know that fortnite is working on three more mythic abilities for this season likely the following airbending earthbending firebending and waterbending which allows you to throw projectiles at enemies and heals you while you're in water now we did see a little bit in the actual trailer for season two here for this whole greek mythology we saw a little bit of the waterbending from the chorus game which i believe is also now inside the game if it's not i think it's got the release date now not 100 sure but i believe it's inside the game but obviously we've just seen that in the background it's a pretty cool mythic and i'm hoping we get the earth bending air bending and fire bending as well fire bending is going to be absolutely insane and i can't wait to see that inside of the game but talking about new things we have some upcoming and returning collabs that we can look forward to we have the big avatar the last airbender event as we already know we're going to be getting a mini pass with this like we covered in the start of the video the new star wars event including new skins which is going to be happening on may the 4th for national star wars day with the new skins there i wonder what skins they're going to actually bring into the game what new ones are going to be coming let me know your opinions down below and do you actually like star wars personally i'm probably going to get a bit of hate for this because it always gets a bit of topic in conversation i've never watched star wars i've only ever played lego star wars on playstation 2 back in the day and guys the one you've all been waiting for kratos will return after more than 1100 days inside of fortnite we know he's returning his shop tab has been updated and what a perfect time for him to return during a greek mythology themed inside of fortnite this guy is going to be insane there's so much hype around this skin not as much hype as what a travis scott return would be but guys kratos is returning to the game after more than a thousand days also later on this year when we are expecting chapter 6 to release we can also expect the release of first person mode here in fortnite now this has been getting worked on since way back in chapter 2 this has been getting worked on for years now and it's going to be absolutely insane when this does release personally i really do hope it's a different game mode or it's a different setting that you guys can set inside the game because i love fortnite as it is in third person yes i will try the first person mode but i can't see myself using it too much and i think a third person mode is here to stay a lot lot longer now in yesterday's video we did talk about the quests but the midas presents floor is law of a quest to travel a thousand meters in the air after landing from the bus has been changed to visit five name locations it's just got so much easier i'm not gonna lie the actual a thousand meters in the air was pretty decent pretty hard and uh, i wasn't too sure how people were going to do that obviously you got the wings and everything like that but i feel like it could take a while and now it's just very very simple visit five name locations you can do across five games you can probably even do it in one game if you are a very good player but guys if you are new around here or if you pick up anything from the item shop it will mean the world to me if you put enter code ffyt when doing so obviously you don't have to do this but it does support me and the channel directly and if you are new around here altogether please do subscribe and i'll see you in the next one peace